Yes, I can record with my flashlight on in the dark. Looks like I'm wearing lipstick. I'm not. Never seen my lips that pink. <laughs> Must be the camera. However, just in my thoughts, I wake up every morning at 2.40 or 3 o'clock, something like clockwork, every single morning. The spirit gives me things because people will say different things to me and sometimes I don't be so quick to respond. I let them marinate and think about it from different sides. That's balance. And I love Jesus. He was a messenger. I'm a messenger. There's preachers who are messengers. But it's what type of message are you getting? How do you interpret the message? How is the message being delivered? We get so caught up in the fame and the glory of my pastor, my life. I want to make him look good and take good care of my pastor. Do that if that's what you need to do, if you need to be governed over who you are. I don't. I know how to take care of me and I know how to balance me and be of good character, be a good person. I know integrity. I have morals. I have standards. And I'm not where I'm haughty and high-minded. I am a God. You're a God. And Jesus tried to tell you, you're a God. Jesus tried to tell you, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I'm telling you, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. But you can't receive it because it doesn't look like what you have in your mind. And I was a kid. A very small kid. And I remember thinking at seven years old, I hope Jesus come and the white people see him as black and the black people see him as white. And I remember thinking, I hope everybody sees him as that thing that they contest or they loathe. And there was something to that thought. Because I am that I am. So if I've learned that I am that I am, why are you so upset that I think and that I'm a God and that I think I'm everything? Because I am everything. I'm a part of everything. I'm a part of every living being. If I hurt you, I'm hurting myself. When you hurt me, you're hurting yourself. It's got to come back. I wouldn't want you to be hurting yourself. I don't want to be hurting myself. I hate when I'm getting whipped with whatever society deemed to whip me with, with lies, with I need to prove I ain't no witch. I need to prove that I ain't crazy. I need to prove that. Why I need to prove anything to you? You're a mortal man. You're a God, but you operating on the wrong frequency. Your father is Satan. That's what Jesus told it. When Jesus said it, you had no problem with him saying, your father's Satan. You lie. Your father's Satan. You steal. Your father's Satan. You gossip. Your father's Satan. I could be like him and be harsh, but it's not like that. You have an opportunity to change. You have an opportunity to turn your mind and go the other way. That's repentance. Changing of the mind and going the other way. And then people will say, well, you supposed to forgive and still lock arms and be friends. Didn't Moses and and uh, Aaron go separate ways? Why can't I? When I see that I've dealt with you a couple of times, one, you lied to me, had me take you shopping. Now you lied and said something happened to your kid be that you did and was hoping that we didn't take it to the hospital and we would have got the blame for it. Now you want me to co-mingle with this devil again? That devil bite me again. I deserved it. Fool me once, fool me twice, third time. It's on me. It's on me the second time. Because we've got to learn. And stop thinking. We read these books and deny the power. So when it's talking about separation of the wheat and the tare, 
We still talking about kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. You supposed to get in the fold. You got to talk like us. You got to walk like us. Yep, mm mm-hmm. So you want me to fake. I'll fake it for you. And I'll be real with my Holy Spirit when I'm not around you. But if you want me to fake, I can fake. And I ain't too good at faking. I ain't too good at that. I'll speak the truth. Because the truth will set you free. And whom set free is free indeed. Jesus walked this earth. I guarantee you he would be crucified again. The stalkers would stalk him. He would be a targeted individual for telling the truth. And trying to set mankind free from all the gotta pay this, gotta do that, gotta pay this, gotta make that. The people don't want to be free. I seen a video once of a bunch of ants, millions of them, just going around and around and around for this frequency that had them going around. Like, we seen the um, lambs all going around. That was a frequency sent down to them and went around. But then it was one or two that stepped out of the fold. That is just like man. Everybody going around and saying the same thing. Want to do it? Oh, my God. God is good. God bless you. Oh, I'm highly favored and blessed. I know all that shit, too. I can say it, too. I'm highly favored. I got all my limbs. They work. I'm highly flavored. I almost died, and I'm still here. I'm highly favored. You tried to crash me in the car. You poisoned me. I'm still here. I'm highly favored and won't he do it. I'm 55 years old and I'm being treated like I'm 20. I've had a stroke and I'm still being stalked. And then people say, you said it happened there. Well, my check just got stolen. Right in front of my face. The post office came in, delivered the mail. And my check, uh, they all grinning. You got to sign for it. It's here. It's here. The two men. It's only two of them. And then you say you put it in the box, you scan the picture. I got the picture on my phone. You scanned it and put it in the box, but it ain't in the box. I hear somebody in the back room, but they acting like it wasn't nobody in the back room. Sound like a big rat then, or you had a fan on blowing all kinds of stuff around. So I'm thinking a woman is in the back because I've seen a woman there before. It's easy to steal a check and print another name on it when you're working in a print shop. So I would like to see how the IRS going to prove that this check uh, if it if it's been cashed, ain't got my signature. Because they can easily, with digital signature, print a signature and cash it in this world of technology. And I think that the IRS should be ashamed of themselves still sending out checks in an envelope where everybody can tell what's in that envelope. Everybody know when they see the Statue of Liberty, that's a check. Why would you send out checks in this day of people stealing money so that people don't mistakenly throw it away? Bull, when people see your name on it and it's a regular letter, they gonna know, open that letter. And that's not right. So blatantly they stole my check because they want me to talk about Jesus. I love Jesus. He was my brother. He brought the message. He was a messenger. Funny how that the original text and things were in different languages and then we got an American translation and we made this word another word that didn't even mean the same thing. Stan 121 is a channel that speaks on that a lot. They break down and decode a lot of the Hebrew language that was original to the Bible. And ain't none one of them words ever what we've been told. We are following some lost sheep. And because it's going to be a penalty for what they trained and taught you, they don't understand it. And some pastors have came to Derek Bros wanting to tell the people the truth, but they don't know how to dismantle the church. They don't know how to hurt the people. They don't want to hurt the people. they rather sell their soul and keep it as kosher as it is. Because when you got this truth, you can't unknow this truth. I didn't get this truth by happenstance. I got it through crying out 3 o'clock in the morning, 
hardwood floors is echoing through the house. People probably thinking somebody in the house getting murdered. My son waking up, mom trying to sleep for school. He the last kid, number five, graduating high school. And I'm waking him up at three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning, because I'm in there for hours crying out to God. Scared to miss my appointment. I gotta I don't want to oversleep. I'm enjoying this this he's teaching me. And I don't want to, and oh God, oh God, just pour into me and tell me, give me the codes. What is this? And then when I got it, what they say, be careful what you ask for. I can't unlearn it. I can't go back to believing what man want me to believe. Looking at my time. When I know the truth and the truth has set me free and whom the truth set free is free indeed. If I go back, I will be murdered from the enemy because I will be playing both sides of the fence and he knows what I know and he will put a target on me and the protection of the most high won't be on me if I go back. That's the part people don't want to tell you. I have to press forward. I have to keep progressing. I have to keep learning and knowing that I know. See, we talk about faith. We talk about hope. But we got to talk about knowing. When you know that you know, can't nobody unlearn that. You will not be retaught. And I, I am being still taught, but I won't be retaught some lies. I'm still progressing and learning from the Spirit. The Spirit says, study to show thy own self approved rightly, rightly divide the word of truth because you're going to get some from here in this book. You're going to get some from there in that book. You're going to get some from that person. Rightly divide the word of truth because there's lies mixed in with the truth. So you got to study and then know thyself. You can't know what your daddy knew, your brother knew, your grandma knew. You got to know for yourself. When it comes time on you on your sick bed and you dying, ain't none of them people there dying with you. You're going to die by yourself unless somebody come in and blow something up, catch a fire, a plane crash, a car crash, and there's more people. You you come in this world by yourself, you're going to more likely die by yourself. You may have come with a twin, but you may not go with your twin. You could have came a triplet, a quadruplet. You ain't going to go, but in ones. Usually, usually unless something abnormal happens, something unusual. We got to stop deeming everybody hellbound when I know you're going to. Because if I'm going, you definitely going. Because I won't listen to your message and this and that. I'll, I'll put on a preacher, but when I put on a preacher and listen, y'all tune it out just like I'm tuning out your message. I put on Derek Bros. Everybody want to tune it out. He might not be of God because he's not preaching what God is. But the spirit put him to sleep, and when he woke him up, he could speak eight languages. So tell me if that's not God in that man's life. Do your pastor get put to sleep and woke up and speak in five languages, three languages, let alone eight? No. No. So I'm listening to the spirit that speaks through him. Do he still make mistakes? Is he still fallible? Yes. As long as we in this flesh, we going to do it. But it's about being on the high frequency. And see, those rich, occult people, they know this. They're not all going, talking, no church, and you got to go and get saved. They eating hearts. They eating brains. They stealing people's uh, chemicals in their body. Can't think of it right. Hyd Hydrozone, whatever. I can't think of the stroke. Things come to me, and I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't see it. And they know this, adrenochrome. They know these things. But they also will turn you against the next, pretending, oh, they won't go to church. They're not in the church, but they're not in the church. And they're just telling you what you want to hear to make you attack because they're trying to destroy me. They're trying to make me think and do things differently. I love Jesus. 
He was a messenger. Jesus had a wife. Jesus had kids. He said there's no thing, no sin on this earth that he ain't went through. And I'm not calling having kids and marriage a sin, but y'all do. When y'all say um, the skin is flesh and born in sin and all kinds of things, you do. That's what you're saying. And I'm tired of trying to prove that I'm not evil. I'm tired of proving that the spirit is on me and I love real high. I love real hard. And I have been attacked to make me hate. But I don't hate. I got some strong dislikes for the enemy. And whether the enemy has jumped in your spirit and made you attack me, I got a strong dislike for you. I could say, I'm still going to love and be patient. That's just the enemy working through him and he don't know no better. And then he come back and stab me. Oh, that's okay because that's just the enemy in him. He don't know no better. Then he come and hit me over the head with a brick. Oh, you know, most high God going to teach him. He don't know no better. When you going to wake up and stop being stupid? You stuck on stupid. And that's Dion speaking through me. You stuck on stupid. We have got to learn. When a person show you who they are, believe it. So if you felt me speaking and saying something that hurt your feelings, then you want to believe it, then believe it. Because I had to empty my vessel of the things that hurt me. And if that makes you uncomfortable, if that makes you take it so personal, then do that. I am in that final hour. I am not trying to hold your hand. I've been hearing Jesus coming since I was seven years old, five years old, going to church, trying to be saved, catching the bus to Rochester Hills by myself in the city of Detroit, all the way to Rochester Hills, a five and a half year old little girl going to get baptized at a Catholic church. Then I got baptized at seven at a Baptist church and singing in the choir. Loving, chasing Jesus, because he going to come back. He ain't came yet. Hundreds of years ago, they said he was coming back. He ain't came yet. Well, surely he coming now. No, the frequency is coming now. The planet is changing at the twinkling of an eye. We're having that new earth. We're thinking things and people are saying it and doing it. People are saying and doing things that I'm encountering. It's like, okay, Somebody told you this, yes, because they're cheating, they're listening. You don't get to play like you got and you secretly hacking somebody's phone and hacking their car and you getting to see their every move. That's not God, that's Satan. Your daddy is Satan because you wouldn't do it. What's your mission for doing it? If you were trying to keep the perfect person safe, then why are you also trying to destroy the person and go tell that person what they said about you? Why aren't you trying to make it better? So you let me know who you are. And when you decided you was going to turn your back on me, when I was in the deepest hour, like Jesus had the 5,000 people, and I was preaching, and all they loved me in the church, prophesied of me, prophesied of me, prophet. But I'm out to church, so now that's evil, that's witchcraft. I guess the Spirit stopped teaching me and the devil teaching me now. Why? Why? You're an heir. You're an heir. You crucified me. You put me on a tree. You ran away from me. I have 5,000 likes and I'm down to 12, just like the 12 disciples. I ain't even got 12 because then it got down to four and three, the both of the Marys and somebody else. It's just me and a couple people. And them couple people all sending me a video on forgiveness. I'm supposed to tune into forgiveness and forgive. Oh, God, you're so bright. Oh, Jesus, I forgive. Oh. And then they'll be feeling good about, oh, look what we did. We brought her back. I told you our prayers work. We brought her back. Oh, she's in the fold. No, you ain't bringing me back. You showed me how evil you are. 
You showed me that you don't want to know the truth because you don't want to listen to my videos. I don't want to listen to yours. If you don't want to wrap your head around what I'm trying to tell you and lead you to the water, I don't want to hear what you have been saying. Every preacher preach on forgiveness. I've heard Pastor T.D. Jakes. I've heard uh, Price. I've heard uh, the one that died that was doing all that stuff with the boys. I've heard every preacher. I can't remember all the names right now because of the stroke. I've heard the one who's just, oh, everything is good now, Joel Olstein. I used to listen every day to Joyce Myers, the whole lineup on that channel. All day, every day, my TV sat on that shit like I was just ODing on Christianity. I knew every scripture, every everything until the Most High took it from me and unindoctrinated me wiped the Bible out, told me one night before bed, my spirit, I hid in you. And when I went to sleep, I woke up and I couldn't remember the Bible. Bible thumper here, couldn't remember it. And I had to be retrained for what those things really meant. And that was nothing but the spirit to do it of God, the most high God, the one that some call Buddha, some call Krishna, some call this, some call that, Allah, yeah. People speak in many languages, and they still thinking of the creator. But though they end their prayers and worship some in the wrong God because he wanted to be called God, Ra wanted to be called God, so you saying, a amen, amen Ra. You're in error, but you don't want to know that. I'm okay. I'm okay with my knowing. I'm okay with my salvation. I'm okay with that if I close my eyes, whether I'm going to heaven or hell, you ain't going with me. I'm okay that you stop messing with me because you don't like what I'm preaching or teaching. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with setting the people free and letting them know you don't have to be held to bondage. You see these fingerprints? Ain't nobody got none like you. That's because what the most high spirit is going to take you through ain't going to be tailored the same like everybody. There's going to be a lot of resemblances. You can, you know, understand what the preacher is telling you. There's a lot of, you know, I, I understand that I'm familiar with that. That has happened to me. I can empathize with that. Yes, there's a lot of that. But it ain't going to be identical. Nobodies are identical. Even identical twins have two separate fingerprints. Did you know that? They're not identical. And the spirit told me that. So, we always thinking. We know the best. And I'll, I'm not going to break bread with you if you ain't talking about God. Oh, I won't help you because I don't break my bread with the devil. You the devil. I'm saying judge not, least ye be judged. But you judging me. I'm saying I ain't going to play with no more devils. I already see who you are. I see your coat. I see your skin you in. I know before you speak sometime if your intention is good. Not every time. Sometime I'm in my thoughts and then everywhere else and I got somebody running circles around me. I thought the one guy in the postal shop was a very kind guy. But it didn't stop him from pretending he was crossing my name off a book. And he didn't. It didn't stop him from making sure my money didn't get in my hands. So... If that don't tell you the spirit by the spirit, we got to try by the spirit. I'm seeing you pretend and sign my name that you took my name off a page. You pretended. Judge the spirit by the spirit. I'm seeing you say, um, it's okay. But he, he, he had something to do with that money disappearing from me. I tried to get my taxes for over a year. And I subscribed to a subsidiary postal box. I won't give their name out until we reconcile this because I'm going to try not to let negativity follow them even though they didn't give a damn about me being in my van and didn't want to tell the police I'm in my van and I, you know she probably don't shower. What I don't know what he told her. Come ask me where do I shower? Planet Fitness. Oh I got a Planet Fitness. Yeah. What do I do and this and that. 
look, I'm trying to get my money to buy a power source so that I can have air. I'm in the South. I need air. And it's okay that they keep stealing from me. And I'm just supposed to say, okay, you took my taxes last year and filed them and didn't file them. This year, you literally stole the check. And then all the gangbangers right there, I seen them in their black, looking at me and nodding. They, they give these nods. Secret societies, masons and different guans or gangbangers have solicited some low vibrating budget boys. Low vibrating budget boys. They pay them nothing. They promise them they can get them in, get them any job they want. They can pull strings. Everybody got a duck. Went to the police station. They had a little bitty duck in the window. Ooh, my nail was yellow when I'm talking about duck. Little bitty duck in the window. Because they have ducks in their car because they call them duck, duck, goose. They stalk you. Those ducks in their Jeeps, they have a fraternal order. And they stalk people and they harass people and they murder people. They try to make people murder themselves. They want you to commit suicide because they harass you until you do. I'm too strong-minded for that. My spirit won't die. I tried to kill myself eight times. My spirit won't die. So I gave up years ago on suicide. Years ago. Don't think it don't cross my mind, but I remember I can't die. Sometimes I think I am dead and I'm just sleepwalking. Sometimes I don't feel love. Sometimes I don't feel nothing. Nothing at all. Because if you ignore the rice that was in the jar, it turned brown. It turned yellow. When you wrote hate on the jar, it turned brown. When you wrote love on the jar, the rice stayed white. So everybody ignoring me and wanting to teach me a lesson. You've turned, you've tarnished me. I'm yellow. I'm not pure love like I used to be. Telling everybody I love them and God bless them and love and light to you. And oh, it'll be okay. I'm not that anymore. You've tarnished me. You touched me and you got me dirty with your paws. I'll never be that again. And nor do I ever want to be. Because I was loving devils.